You want to know what torments a carpet cleaner? Using over-the-counter products. A lot of customers are taking use this ahead of time. And what's the problem with that? Well, it soaps up the carpet, it causes a lot of foam, and you lose a lot of vacuum. Let me tell you a little story. So I walk into this home, I'm doing the walkthrough, and the customer said, hey, by the way, Rob, I did you a little favor. I said, oh, really? What'd you do? She said, I took my over-the-counter product and I sprayed the whole house for you, so that would help you out. I said, actually, what you did is you kind of hurt me. Let me tell you why. The problem with these products, Mrs. Jones, is they give you short-term benefits, but they give you long-term problems. Why is that? Because what happens is they're very high pH, they need to be rinsed out of the carpet, they have optical brighteners and other things in there that actually degrade the fibers over time and do more damage than good. Also, it reduces the vacuum of our machines so your carpets take longer to dry. So let me show you what you should use instead. Well, Mrs. Jones, I have these two professional products which I can leave with you, one or the other. One is basically if you have pets for pet stains, any organic stains like poo, pee, vomit, and stuff like that. Or if you have any oily type stains, any other type of stain, we have Rave. Our customers rave about both these products. Now, what can you do if you're a professional and you come to a home and they've used those over, bad over-the-counter products and they've caused a lot of foam? Take a look. Okay, so I'm at this house right now and the customer's pet had actually thrown up on the carpet and the customer used the over-the-counter product quite a bit. So what can we do? You have two different options. One is you can order our competitor's product, which is basically a water-based product. And the problem with that is you're paying a lot of money for water. It's not economical. It doesn't dilute. It's just a terrible product. And that's why we don't make a liquid version. What we do make is a powder version, which goes a long ways. And it's very economical. It's called TMF X-Foam. Dead set on a liquid. All you gotta do, get yourself a 32 ounce spray bottle. Pop the top off, open this up, take about a half a scoop, pour it in there, add water, and you're good to go. Okay, here's another cool little trick some cleaners will do. At the beginning of the day is they'll open up their waste tank, take their lid up, and they'll go ahead and put a scoop of powder in at the beginning of the day. Okay, so you're in a home and you're cleaning right along, of course, with your TMS swivel wand, and all of a sudden you hit one of those little stains, and what happens? You lose your vacuum. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna show you two options right now. Okay, option one is just open the container, and you can go ahead and grab your scooper. Just takes about one scoop of it and you can unhook your vacuum and suck it right down in there. But it's a little awkward. Take a look and I'll show you why. Got all this vacuum, right? You don't want to suck this in. You ain't careful, all right? So I'm not a fan of that way. Mmm, smells so good. Did I mention to you that we also put the Sweet Breeze scent inside of here? So it makes it really smell good when you lay it down. Customers really love it. You know, it's actually not even a bad idea on homes that are really soiled. Maybe go ahead and take and put some down all over the place. Now, how do you want to apply it? Well, there's two different ways to apply it. Some guys will take and just sprinkle it everywhere just like that as they're walking around the room. I'm not a too big of a fan about the, of that, but it doesn't hurt if that's what you want to do. Instead, I like just take a scoop of it. Take a look at this, Joe. And what I'll do is I'll put it in one or two strategic spots in the room. And as I'm cleaning along, if the vacuum loss occurs, I'll go ahead and just vacuum that right up and keep right on moving. Okay, now suppose you find out that the customer actually spilled maybe a whole bottle of laundry detergent or fabric softener or home spotter. What do you do then? Well, I like to take and take a scoop or two, put it directly on the spot, and then do the Nike shuffle. Get it down in there real nice and deep. Okay, so what's the best way to extract and prevent a redo? You don't want to call back on it, right? I like to take and take a subsurface tool, go ahead and hook that up, put it on top of it, and flush it out really well. Other guys will take their wand, they'll go ahead and flush it with a wand. Ideally, what I like to do is flush it with the subsurface tool and then follow up with a wand, and then I'll use an air remover to get as dry as possible. That way I know the final result. Here's a warning. Make sure you set those expectation levels. Why do I say that? Well, if she's used this type of product that might have some bleaching agents or something like that in there, and you go to rinse it and you pull the color, it's your fault if you didn't warn her in advance. You know, it's not always the homeowner is guilty of leaving a lot of residue inside the carpet. Sometimes it's a splash and dash or a hit it and get it cleaner. What do I mean by that? Somebody who doesn't come in and pre-spray and do the proper steps, those are the type of guys who come in there and just use detergent and splash it all over the carpet and then leave, and that leaves a lot of residue. Okay, here's a cool little tip that us veteran cleaners like to use that a lot of people don't know about. So take a look at it. Now, suppose you come to a home, she might have well water, and the water varies all around the country, okay? So perhaps the product you're using foams up a little bit in your pre-spray. What are you gonna do? Well, all you gotta do is take your X-Foam and just take a little pinch, okay? Just like you're cooking, all right? Smell what the Rob's cooking? And just go ahead, drop it in there, give it a little shake, and you're good to go. Okay, so in conclusion, where can you find this X-Foam? At tmfshop.net. Of course, you can find all of our fine products like our blue label, black label, green label, of course, Unchained, all of our fine products are there. We'll also have the link in the description below if you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, our Facebook group, Truck Mount Forums, Carpet Cleaners Professionals, or Instagram, or now on TikTok, please take the time to do so. I'm Rob Allen, Truck Mount Forums. Have yourself a great day.